Is that a real child? Thanks for watching Blimey Cow. This episode is sponsored by Unbound and made possible by viewers like you. I feel like I'm cheating on my brother with my wife. What? I just want some water, bro. I just want some water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if it is possible, far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone, American Christians. No. <laughs> <laughs>how homeschoolers think babies are made is that a real child what is wrong with them <laughs> what the heck i'm angry <laughs> i don't that doesn't look like it's a real baby it's very stiff okay. it might already be dead that looks like a, a, the stiffness of a baby who's upset. Oh, right. I feel like there's some context I'm missing here. <laughs> I don't want to like bash on someone's tradition, but that well, seems cruel. Well, I think the, the context you're missing is that that's how babies are made. <laughs> that's where they come from. Well, that seems a lot easier to me, so. <laughs> here you are, baby. Fresh baked pie, just for you. Where did you get this? I baked it. From scratch. We don't have an oven. God help me. <sighs> Joseph, please. You see how that sounds, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> you know, poor Joseph was probably just like there for the whole thing and he just gets this bad rep right, he that was, he didn't even deserve probably. He was like, look, I was there for the He one. was a, a man of faith. Yeah. And now everybody makes jokes about he was how he thinks he was being cheated on. It, it's projecting is what it is. Everyone's <laughs> like, I know she's cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the brothers in the background. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. They all look like siblings. You know, oh. but yeah, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you serve in children's ministry? Children's ministry. Except those are grown adults. Man, think about how hyped you would be if you were actually able to lift a car like that. No, I'm too busy judging them for flipping cars over stupid reasons. <laughs> At least kids are At like- At least make not... it like a good reason to flip a car, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, there's not many good reasons, but like a sports, Thing. And Someone trapped least, under a car. Yes. I can think go. of exactly one reason. <laughs> Kids need more support than being compared to like <laughs> immature adults. <laughs> adults should know better. You're slightly triggered. I'm slightly this. triggered. Don't put the sins of the e Eagles fans <laughs> on the children. <laughs> It's like a whistle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the whistle tone. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one too. No one, Moses randomly appearing in the New Testament like a celebrity on Disney Channel for what episode? Hey man, watch where you're going. Oh, my bad kid, I was just like funny. Church starts at 11 a.m. My mom at 6 a.m. Sleep. <laughs> Me, my future wife. He's so ugly. God, smiling. My future wife. I, I love, love him. him. <laughs> Christian college freshman after not getting engaged in the first semester. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a relevant meme yeah. for uh, those of us with little ones. Yes. <laughs> youth leaders who have never dated teaching youth <laughs> about dating. Youth camp games basically 1,000 ways to die. <laughs> when I was in youth group, it was 1,000 ways to mate. Oh, God. It was game... either flirt or die. You have two. <laughs> Do you remember that game 
that Honey If You Love Me game. Did yeah, you yeah, play that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm cringing. Yes, I played that game. <laughs> I was terrible at that game. I couldn't. T I, so uncomfortable. Yeah. I think if you're good at that game, it's it's an indictment. My friend's comforting me. <laughs> Have you tried praying about it, bro? <laughs> Our church is multicultural. Women's leadership team. <laughs> are those really all different women? Uh, yeah, they are. Wow. They just all look like Margot Robbie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you tell which one is Margot Robbie? That one. I think it's that one. Unless they're both her. I don't know. Chris Martin looks like the pastor's toddler son named Levi who terrorized the kids' That's ministry. <laughs> her. Look at me. Me. Sorry, babe. No premarital eye contact. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. <laughs> the way they edited the... Sorry, babe. <laughs> okay. I can't. I can't uh, look like, you in the eyes like, like a human being until like I own you. Like, what's funny is that the picture is as if it's from the girl's eye oh, yeah, view. And, she, he's, and he's like, look up to the side. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Lord bless this food to the nourishment of my body. <laughs> I mean, look, sometimes you just gotta ask for a miracle. <laughs> this is a man of faith. <laughs> Me, I can do all things through Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Lunch. If I miss lunch, it's pretty much lights out. That's because that's the way God designed your body, is that you need food, so. You need pizza. this much food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went through the Chick-fil-A drive through bawling, and the girl asked me if I wanted a chocolate or vanilla milkshake, and I was like, no, I ordered a sweet tea, and she goes, no, honey, you need a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Service, unmatched. Did you ever do that's that sweet. kind of thing when you worked at the Chick-fil-A? Uh, yeah, we would give free stuff sometimes, but I don't ever remember anybody, like, crying, and we gave them a milkshake. <laughs> that's definitely under the umbrella of what we were allowed to do. Were so. you ever crying, and you got yourself a milkshake? Oh, Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, mean, I worked there for six years. There were plenty of crying milkshakes. <laughs> Why is this? Milkshakes are salty. <laughs> now, Kelly, you are more a fan of these personality tests than I am in life. Sure. What's the best one? Oh, I don't, I mean, I don't. I'm... Pick a fave. I'm not gonna pick a fave. You like the ones with the wings. Yeah, I think that they can be helpful to realize things about yourself that maybe you didn't, you weren't tuned into. They're not helpful if you read it and you take it as gospel of like, oh, I'm a, I'm a nine, so right. I'm not confrontational, so I'm not going to say anything right now. I could talk about it a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now guys, if you wanna take an honest look at yourself in the mirror, but you're kind of afraid to because maybe you've taken one of the personality tests like we're talking about, and then you've caught yourself doing what Kelly what was describing, uh, adapting to what the results say about you. We recommend you don't do that, and our friends at Unbound just released a book called The Personal Triangle, The Skills You Need to Live Life Well, and they're offering a free download of the full book exclusively for Blind and Cow viewers. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Unbound specializes in training young adults with the skills and abilities they need to live and work effectively in the real world. And here's the honest truth, your gifts, strengths, and skills can't be crammed into nine categories or 16 types or four quadrants. Am I right, Kelly? Yes. <laughs> the point is, is that the, the book is not a personality test. Okay. It's kind of a way to think outside the box about who you are and how your gifts and skills propel you in the real world. Okay. Because you are far more uniquely created than a personality test. You'll have to intentionally account for your weaknesses and then grow in the direction that your interests take you. If all that sounds cool to you, you wanna check out the book, visit beunbound.us slash blimeycow to download your free full length copy today. Again, that's beunbound.us slash blimeycow. Okay, Kelly, go right ahead and head over to supportblimeycow.com and look at some of the memes. Well, I picked some of my favorites okay. from the recent bundles and I wanted to show them to you. You're one in on Facebook <laughs> when literally anything happens. Do you all do? <laughs> That's funny. The Lord working on his game. Nothing but net for the Lord. <laughs> when you are watching The Chosen, notice Jesus oh isn't a blue-eyed white guy. Wow, you are very exotic looking. Trying hard to look nice for the church directory. Mm -hmm. Relatable. <laughs> Did you ever take a picture for a church directory? Yeah, I mean, my dad was on staff, so I was in the church directories. That's pretty accurate about how it feels. I don't know if that's how it looks. Boring testimony started <laughs> back. <laughs> like, if you feel like you have a boring testimony because you grew up with those? Yeah, like, like someone yeah. asks you, like, how did you come to the faith? And you're like, well, uh, uh, I watched I watched, me. I was, grew up in a Christian household, yeah, watched I all see. the Christian shows. <laughs> that was my favorite one. It's so funny. <laughs> when you showed oh, your parents gosh. a meme and now you're in a meeting with the pastor. Up, up. All right, what did you, how, how did I do picking memes that, that you would enjoy? Good. I, as they went on, they got even better. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you liked them. Yeah. Thank you. I'm good at picking out memes for Jordan, too. 
I get y'all's humor. You get us. I just get it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what we're doing next week. I think that uh, Jordan will be back next week. We'll see. For some more fun and games. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye everybody, thanks for watching.